Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we'll discuss about combinations. So, in the previous video lesson, we already differentiate uh, permutation and combination. So, I hope na panood nyo muna yung permutation versus combination na video lesson natin bago yung video lesson na to. Okay? Kasi ito ay nagpo-focus na lang sa combination. So, how are we going to evaluate combinations and we're going to solve Problems that involve combinations. Combinations is an arrangement of n objects with no repetitions and the order is not important. So again, combination order is not important. Combination of n obje distinct objects taken r at a time where r is less than or equal to n. So we can write, uh, we can represent using this symbol. Okay, ito ay makikita rin natin kapag may scientific calculator tayo. So, pwede rin natin gamitin yung calculator natin. Okay, makukuha natin yung combination. But we can use this formula. Okay, we can use this formula n factorial over uh, the quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial. So, again, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin para masolve yung combinations. Okay, so ito yung mga halimbawa na problems ng combination. So, ito yung mga example problems ng combinations. A committee of 5 persons will be chosen from um, a group of 7 persons. A hand of 13 cards having exactly 10 spades drawn from a deck of cards. A player chooses 6 numbers from 1 to 42 in no particular order. So, yan yung mga example problems ng combinations. So, evaluate the following, okay? The combination of 7 taken 4 at a time. So, ang unang gagawin natin dyan, i-identify natin ano ba yung value ng n natin dyan at ano yung value ng r. So, yung n natin, kaila, uh, tatandaan natin yung n ay laging mas mataas sa r, okay? So, of course, yung n natin is 7 at yung r natin dyan is 4. Again, kailangan yung n laging mataas sa r or yung r dapat mas mababa sa n. So using the formula, so isa substitute lang natin yung value ni n at yung value ng r. So that is 7 factorial over uh, the quantity of 7 minus r factorial times 4 factorial. And then simplify, expand lang natin. No? 7 minus 4, that is 3 factorial. Then expand nyo lang yung 7 factorial. So 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. So hanggang dito kasi para makancel natin yung 4 factorial sa baba. So makancel natin yung 4 factorial sa baba. So ang maiwan na lang sa baba ay 3 factorial. So that is 7 times 6 times 5 over 3 factorial. So that is 210 divided 6. So yung 6 nakuha natin sa 3 factorial. Kasi 3 times 2 times 1 that is 6. So 210 divided 6, the answer is 35. Okay? Another example, evaluate the combination of 15, okay, taken 3 at a time. So, our n is 15, n yung r natin is 3. So, substitute sa uh, formula natin, yung value ng n at yung value ng r. So, 15 factorial over 15 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. So, uh, imaminus lang natin ito. So, 15 3 factorial is 12 factorial. And then expand again, 15 factorial, so that is 15 times 14 times 13 and times 12 factorial. So, mga cancel si 12 factorial. So, therefore, the answer will be 2730 divide 6 and that is 455. So, using the formula, madali lang, no? Pero kapag meron kayong scientific calculator class, meron, lang di meron ding key doon na pipindutin nyo lang, ibibigay na rin sa inyo agad yung value ng combination. So, kung wala naman, pwede nyo i-compute manually using the formula. Okay, next. Another example. So, in how many ways can a principal choose 3 of their 30 teachers to attend a conference abroad? Again, in how many ways can a principal choose 3 of their 30 teachers to attend a conference abroad. Okay, first, 
So, our n is 30 at yung r natin is 3. So, substitute sa formula natin. That is 30 factorial over 3 factorial times 30 minus 3 factorial. And that is 30 factorial. So, expand natin 30 times 29 times 28 times 27 factorial over 6 times 27 factorial. So, yung 6 ay galing sa 3 factorial. And then, so mga cancel natin yung 27 factorial. So, ang may iwan na lang, 30 times 29 times 28 divide 6. The answer is 4,060 ways. Another. Six officers of the mathematics club are in a conference room. If each one shakes hands with each of the others once. So, isang beses lang dapat, no? How many handshakes are possible? Okay, six officers of the mathematics clubs are in conference room if each one shake hands with each of the other ones. So, how many handshakes are possible? Okay, so we have the combination of six taken two. So, substitute sa formula. So, our n is six, yung r natin is two. Okay, bakit ang r natin is two? If one, so, two, di ba, Pag nag-handshake tayo, that is two persons involved, no? Para may isang handshake ka makukuha. So, 6 factorial over 2 factorial. So, times 6 minus 2 factorial. So, that will be 6 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 factorial. So, the answer is 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 2 factorial times 4 factorial. So, mga cancel si 4 factorial. So, ang makukuha natin is 30 divide 2. So, ilang handshakes kaya dun sa anim na tao? Sa anim na officers ng mathematics club? That is 15 handshakes. Okay, kasi kung halimbawa yung president, makikipagkamay siya sa lima niyang uh, ka-officers. So, ilan na agad yun? Lima na. And then, si Vice President, makipagkamay din sa lima niyang kasama. So, mabibilang natin yung 15 handshakes. Alright? Next, ito madalas to ginagawa ng mga nanay at tatay natin. Or, else, uh, kung hindi medyo familiar na kayo dito, no? Kasi marami ang nagtsatsaga para tumaya dito para manalo. Kasi ang laki ng price dito. So, Let's say class 642 Lotto game, no? Ah uh, para max sure natin na mananalo tayo, tatayaan natin yung uh, lahat ng combinations ng 642. So gamit yung combination of formula, makukuha natin kung ilang combination lahat ang merong ang meron yung 642 Lotto game, okay? So kung tatayaan natin lahat ng combinations na yon, so let's say 20 pesos yung isang ticket, tingnan natin, no? So, a player chooses six numbers from 1 to 42 in no order. So, how many possible bets are there? So, I know you are familiar, uh, nakikita nyo to, no? Kahit saan kayo pumunta, meron mga ganito. Okay. So, ang una natin gagawin, we can use the combination formula. So, that is 42, combination of 42 takes 6. So, that is 42 factorial over 42 minus 6 factorial times 6 factorial. So, kagaya ng ginagawa natin kanina, expand lang natin. Okay? And then, makakancel si 36 factorial. So, ang maiwan na lang, 42 times 41 times 40 times 39 times 38 times 37. Divide 6 factorial. 6 factorial 720. So sa taas we have 3 billion 776 million 965,920 divide 720. So ilang combination meron? 5,245,786. Para sure ka na mananalo class. So tayaan mo yung limang ay ah, yung 5,245,786 combinations. So, halimbawa, class, yung isang ticket, okay, yung isang ticket ngayon ay, I think, 20 pesos, no? Kung ang isang ticket ay 20 pesos, so, ita times natin sa 5,245,786. So, dapat may meron kang pera o meron kang 
Yeah, kasi ito yung, kung gusto mo tayaan yung 5,245,786 para sure na mananalo ka, dapat meron kang amount na 104,915,720 kung ang isang ticket ay 20 pesos. Ganon kalaki. E minsan class, so... Pahirap pa yan sa'yo kasi alamin mo pa yung limang million to, yung limang million na yan na tig, uh, combinations, di ba? At saka, sometimes hindi naman umaabot sa 104 million yung price. So, lugi ka kung lahat yan tatayaan mo. Tapos, uh, kung ang isang ticket ay 20 pesos. So, pero minsan, I think umaabot na yung loto natin ng uh, mga 500 million. No? Umaabot na siya sa ganong price. So, ano talaga ito? Swertihan lang talaga ito ang pagtaya sa loto. Kaya kapag nanalo, very lucky ka syempre. Ang laki na makukuha mong price. So, ang ibig sabihin lang nito, class, yung mga ganito ay kaya pala natin kunin. Yung bilang kung ilang combinations. Okay? Okay, more examples. How many committees of 4 person can be chosen from a group of 10 persons? So, using the formula of combinations, that is 210. Okay? So, hindi ko na pinakita yung solution. So, you can check, no? So, you can check kung tama yung sagot natin. Number two, in how many ways can a committee of five person be chosen from sing, uh, seven single ladies and nine men? So, letter A. If there is no restriction on the gender, so ilang combinations. If there is no restriction on the gender, so ilang ways mag-select yung committee ng five persons kung walang restriction yung gender. So that is seven plus nine. That is four. Ah, uh, sixteen. No, di ba? Sixteen. Okay, taken five person. No, so using the formula that is. 4,368 ways. Okay. 4,368 ways. How about if there must be 3 single ladies and 2 men? Okay. Mayroon tatlong single ladies and 2 men. So, paano natin gagawin? So, from uh, the problem, so, mag-choose tayo ng 5 person dun sa 7 single ladies and 9 men. Pero dito sa letter B, paano kapag Tatlong single ladies na ang dalawang men ang kukunin natin. So, anong gagawin? First, okay, choose three from the seven single ladies. O, yun muna ang gagawin. Choose three. So, that is seven, okay, combination of seven taken at three. So, that is 35. Pangalawa, so, yung dalawang men naman, so, kukuha tayo ng dalawang men sa nine men. So, choose two from the nine men. So, that is Combination of 9, taking 2. So, that is 36. So, paano natin kukunin yung combinations nito? Of course, using the fundamental principle of counting, there are 35 times 36 and that is 1,260 ways. Okay? How about if all are single ladies? If all are single ladies class, so what will be the answer? So, ibig sabihin, if all single ladies, hindi kasama yung uh, men, that is 7, uh, combination of 7 taken 5. And the answer is 21 or 21 ways. Okay. I think meron pa tayong example dito. Okay, ito pa. A carton of 20 compact teas contains 5 pirated and 15 original teas. So, yung 20 na yon, yung lima doon pirated, saka yung, yung 15 original. In how many ways can a inspector choose three of the compact teas and first, get the one that is pirated. So, yung, di ba, kukuha siya ng tatlo. Yung isa daw ay pirated. So, ibig sabihin, yung dalawa original. Tama? So, kung ang isa pirated, tapos yung dalawa doon original kasi tatlo ang pipiliin niya. So, ang gagawin lang natin, multiply lang natin yung combination nung yung isa ay pirated at yung original ay dalawa. So, combination of 5, take 1, times the combination of 15, take 2. Uh, taken 2 pala. Take, okay, so the answer will be, sa combination of 5, taken 1, that is 5. 
And sa combination of 15, taken 2, that is 105. So, mumultiply lang natin. 5 times 105, the answer is 525 ways kapag 1 that is pirated. Okay, how about kapag yung dalawa is pirated? So, kapag yung dalawa is pirated, so how many ways no, makapili yung inspector ng tatlo? So, that is... So, 5, combination of 5 taken 2 times combination of 15 taken 1. So, yung ibig sabihin, kung tatlo yun, yung dalawa pirated, yung isa original. So, ganun lang din. So, a combination of 5 taken 2, the answer is 10. Co combination of 15 taken 1, the answer is 15. So, 10 times 15, the answer is 150 ways. Next, none of the pirated this. So, None of the pirate So, ibig sabihin lahat original. Okay. So, kung lahat original, so, combination of 15 taken 3. So, the answer is 455 ways. Alright? So, I hope uh, medyo nas, malinaw na sa inyo yung topic na combinations. Okay. It's your time. Test yourself. So, you can use a piece of paper to answer. No? Sagutan nyo. So, Meron tayong apat na questions pero lima ang magiging sagot niyo diyan kasi sa number 1 meron kayong dalawang tanong. Okay. So, number 1, in how many ways can three students be chosen from a class of 20 for a field trip? And then what if Michael is not allowed to go on the field trip? Number 2, if Derek must answer any five questions on a math test containing 10 questions, in how many ways can he choose the five questions? Number three, how many different lines can be drawn using six points if no three of which are collinear? Number four, how many committees of six can be formed from 10 freshmen and five sophomores if each committee is to consist of four freshmen and two sophomores? So, ano, what, what, so, pwede kayong uh, i-post muna yung video sa kanya natin, ipakita yung tamang sagot. Alright? So, you can practice, no? Practice nyo. Okay, so ito yung sagot for number 1. That is 1,140. So, what if Michael is not allowed? So, mababawasan, no? Kung 20 yung sasama, kung, so may isang di sumama, so 90 na lang. So, that is 969 ways na lang. Sa so number 2, 252. Okay. Sa so number 3, 15 ways. Okay. Okay. 15 different lines pala. Okay. Sa so number 4, since meron tayo ditong uh, binigay, no? So, merong sampung uh, kukuha ng anin doon sa sampung freshmen at 5 sophomores. What if kapag ang kukunin lang natin is the apat na freshman and dalawang sophomore. So, anong gagawin natin? That is combination of 10 taken 4. So, ayan yon Times the combination of 5 taken 2. So, since 6 ang kukunin, so, ayan na, no, makikita natin, no? So, a, kung apat yung kukunin sa freshman, dalawa sa sophomore. So, multiply lang natin. So, that is 210 times 10. The answer is 2,100 committees. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.